Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Janelle and today's video will be a makeup empties of video. So if you want to see all the makeup that I used up, uh, whether I liked it or not. And if you're a number geek like me, we will talk numbers at the end of this video to see if I've reached my two or three thousand dollar goal, whichever one I reach first. So let's go ahead and just jump right in. Before we start today's video, I would like if you would like and subscribe it helps out my little channel also very much and i appreciate it from the bottom of my heart and now let's go ahead for real, for real. so i have everything in this little drawer i'm going to talk about everything i thought we would start off with skincare since i only have like two ish items and the rest is all makeup so um here we go so this is the it cosmetics confidence in a cream a moisturizer my favorite moisturizer of all time when i looked this up the price is like 52 dollars the label is now pink and this used to be 42 dollars but now it's 52 which is a lot but i always get this on sale so i recommend that you get it when it's like half off it's a very nice luxurious heavier cream great for like night time night time it's anti-aging transforming moisturizer super cream i agree with all that i mean i have a baby face this stuff really works um so yeah i will be using up some other moisturizers that i have in my collection and hopefully if this goes on sale in the fall i will definitely pick this up from ulta's 21 days of beauty and stock up i usually get two or three at a time and they run um that sale like every 21 days of beauty usually so in the spring i'll pick up more but yeah i really don't need it in the summertime i can live without it but it's a nice very nice moisturizer okay so next i want to talk about this um spf this is the cerave ultralight moisturizing lotion this is the spf i usually wear it has spf 30 i'm not really stepping outside really ever only to just drive in the car to the grocery store so i think this is a decent spf for me just sitting around the house um, it works well under makeup. This is like a forever repurchase. Again, this is pricier than what I remember it, but I never get it on full price anyways. I always get this at a discount, so I will continue to get it every time it's on clearance. So yeah. Let's talk lip balms. I did finish up two. I have this NARS After After what is it called? After Glow Lip Balm in Dolce Vita. This one I scraped out everything. It was a My Lips But Better color. My daughter actually loves this one too. We both panned it. And oh, actually, I forgot to mention this little fresh packet. This is the Fresh Rose Deep Hydration Facial Toner. It was decent. Um, I didn't count this in the monetary value, but it's. A decent toner um really can't tell from just that packet use next we have this gucci balm aller i think that's how you say it and um this one was very melty um the fresh lip balm is kind of similar i didn't scrape what's on the inside of this one maybe i should since it's gucci and it's like i think this one was 42 dollars so yeah this one's 28 if you're looking for a nice lip balm i would recommend this one over this one just because this one can snap and break because it is so creamy but i enjoyed using both of those lip balms for concealer i did finish off this dior concealer this is the forever skin correct um and this is in one w i did scrape out everything out of this one so i did definitely get my money's worth i, I took about a year and a half to finish this so it is a great value for your money um, I also do love their Backstage Concealer. That's also a very good one. Next, we have the ABH Brow Gel um, Mini. This is what this one looks like. Um, yeah, it's decent. This is what I have in my brows today. I'm using the full-size one. It gets the job done. So, yeah, this is $9 for a mini. So, I do think that's a great value if you don't um, want to pick up the full-size. Next, I have the NYX Marshmallow Primer Mini. This one I'm indifferent about. Like, it's a nice smell, texture, experience, but it's not going to make your makeup look um, that much better if you don't wear a primer. So, um, yeah, it's just okay. I have two empties left. I have this Glossier Pro Tip um, in black. It is their eyeliner. This is what the felt thing looks like. It was kind of starting to fray a little bit um so yeah i am using the pat mcgrath one today and the pat mcgrath one is doing a good job but i didn't like this at first because it was stiff very black and hard to remove but once i wore it in a little while it was a decent eyeliner 
I would maybe pick it up again, but I am loving the Pat McGrath one and that one's more accessible to me. And Pat McGrath always runs a lot of good deals on her website. And right now Sephora has a Sephora favorites kit that has the eyeliner included. So I might just pick up that kit because um, I'm interested in everything else that's in it. Um, last product I have to share with you is this beige by Chanel fragrance. Um, it's a little bit more mature, but doable. A lot of fragrances that I would describe as mature have like something off-putting to them, which make me kind of nauseous and want to gag, but that one was a good one. It's not going to be like your typical Juicy Couture or Marc Jacobs Daisy type of sweet perfume. It is, um... I don't want to describe it as musky, but just a little bit more mature, something um, kind of soft, subtle, and nice about it, warm and inviting. So yeah, I would definitely use that sample up if I got it again because it's not so, it's not so bad. <laughs> and I'm very picky with scents, as you guys know. I say that a lot here on my channel if you aren't new. Um, so let's go over numbers. So for makeup, I finished. A total of $153 this month for July. And that brings our total yearly makeup empties to $1,621.25. So yeah, I think we are well on our way to $2,000. I think maybe we'll make it at the end of this year. Um, if we don't, then hey, I'm still getting use out of a lot of makeup. For fragrance, um, today we used $5 this month or whatever um that beige perfume is like 250 for the smallest and i think the the size up is like 450 anyways so that brings our total um yearly total up to 90 dollars and 40 cents for fragrance and i don't think we finished up any full sizes so it's all roller balls and sample sizes and for skincare we finished up a total of $70.99, which brings our yearly total to $120.49. So we are doing good in the skincare department. Um, so those are all the numbers I have to share with you today. I hope you guys found this fun and informative. Let me know what you have for your empties in the comment section down below. I would love to know what you guys have finished off for the month of July. And I will start racking up my empties for August to show you at the end of August. So stay blessed, stay safe wherever you are, and I hope you have an amazing blessed day. Bye.